Hi there, Leo. Welcome to Divine Guidance by Sage. My name is Sage the Intuitive, and I am here to do a love reading for the month of August of 2020. Um, this reading is a general love reading, so um, look, take what resonates, leave what does not. Um, all the messages will not resonate. Check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus for additional messages. Um, I've already saged, shuffled, and blessed the cards. We're going to get an overall energy um for for the month and then just pull some cards about you and your person don't forget to like share and subscribe and any information that you need about me will be in the description box all right so let's get started leo so let's get an overall message leo overall energy for the month of august in regards to love for our leos Happy birthday, Leo. I hope you're enjoying your month. Let's see. Overall energy. I have the world card, card number 29. And I am going to read out of the book. Let's see what this overall energy for this world card it says the world expansion opening up and it says the man in this picture is looking out over a bay above which the beautiful sphere of the earth is rotating this card is reminding you to expand your vision and to contemplate some much broader options the world is wide so there's a lot out there to consider in the modern age of technology, this could specifically be referring to creating or expanding to a more global network through the internet or social marketing. Drawing this card also lets you know that you have unlimited resources available to you. And now is the time to think big. As they say, the world is your oyster, so get ready to gobble it up. All right, Leos, so you have the world card. So let's see what's going on with Leo in regards to love for their birthday month. What is going on for Leos? So let's get the energy of your person. And remember, just take the energy as they resonate. So if I'm um, speaking of somebody um, and you feel that that's your energy, then it's probably you or vice versa. So just take it as it resonates. All right, let's find out what is your person's energy in regards to love, Leo, for the month of August. What is your person's energy in regards to love for the month of August? Your person is stubborn. <laughs> I will say that. One more card, please. Of Leo's person's energy. Thank you. All right. So we have the Ten of Wands. We have the Nine of Pentacles. And we have the Page of Wands. So your person um, potentially is carrying some type of he heavy burdens this month. Um, they are deciding to potentially drop those burdens and kind of go into um, being uh, more more abundant, more um, self sufficient. Um, they want to they want to drop whatever these heavy burdens are, and you know this thing, whatever this is. Um, where they're going to this is something new this is something exciting and this is something um that's going to bring the curiosity out for them as some type of inspiration because ap apparently for your person these burdens were were not serving um them they were just really heavy they were um bogging them down these burdens just were was not um serving them so they may decide to eat, potentially be single um, this month, if they are not single, um, they may potentially decide to be single and just work um, on their money, on their independence, on their own stability. 
and this is what's going to bring them um, some type of new uh, vitality, some type of new excitement um, for this month. Let's see what your energy is for the month of August, please. What is the Leo's energy for the month of August? One more. Someone is definitely in their head um, with this with this page of wands. So we, I'm sorry, page of swords. So we have the page of swords. Someone's in their thoughts, um, trying to move their you know their mental energy forward. We have um, the judgment. So it may be some type of um, karma that needs to be released. And then we also have the ten of cups which is about um, stability and um, so it, it looks like someone is is trying to get some type of clarity so that they can get to to their stability so they are in their in their heads um, about that with the page of swords here um, this is about someone being curious about something um, and the person possibly could be, you know, a bit restless as well. Um, this could also be, this is some truth. Somebody wants some type of truth here. With this um, judgment card, again, this is um, clarity. This is a final decision. So um, they, want, they want some truth in order to have this um, stability and... Um, with this ten of cups and i think i said ten of pentacles but um and if i didn't it's ten of cups but they want this this um fulfillment they want this wish fulfillment so they're in their head trying to get clarity about this um this everything this love that they put that um you or your person potentially want leo so you could be in your head about this um for this month let's see what your person's blockages are for the month of August. What is your what are your person's blockages? Okay. We have the Eight of Wands. So some type of um fast communication or fast movement we have the king of wands the king of wands is somebody who is um bold someone who is a leader and then we have the ten of swords so um with the ten of swords cards um it's a it's some type of painful um ending However, this did come out in the reverse, so this ending may be like more of an inevitable ending. Um, and I, I feel like when we get to tens, it's potentially, you know, it ends so that it can begin again. So if this is some type of inevitable ending, it's, it's you know, going to start again. So I think the blockage here is that um, s some type of communication hasn't been coming in from from this um, King of Wands. And then that's what's causing this situation to come to an end because there is lack of clarity. There is lack of um, movement. And some this fast communication is wanting to, you know, someone wants this fast communication to come in. It's just not working. So uh, inevitably it's leading to some type of um, painful ending. But again, when we have like these ends it's also some a reason for um a recovery or some rejuvenation so the cycle may have needed to end and that's what's being blocked that's the one a blockage
for your person right now this lack of communication and this lack of communication could potentially lead to an ending of some sort let's see what your blockage is And this makes sense. So your blockage is the five of wands, the seven of swords, um, the three of pentacles, and the six of wands. So there's some type of competition here. There's some type of deception. There are too many um, choices to choose from here. Um, possibly a third party which is what's going on um leo you could possibly have some type of third party if it's not you it's your person take the energy as it resonates but i'm definitely seeing that there's some type of competition here some type of third party some type of choice here um so it's blocking the success of this um situation because it the situation could be successful but we have all of this deception here um all of these secrets here that are that that is what's blocking um blocking this from moving forward with the six of wands to be six of wands would usually be some type of success but we have three cards of deception com conflict and competition so the blockage could very well be a third party person place or thing but um it's definitely some secrets here and that's what's blocking um on on your side leo or your person take it as it resonates uh, what's connecting you to what is connecting leo and their person one thing i think that's connecting you both is that you both are um heartbroken um in some some way shape or form and with the there's the three of swords here which is um about heartache you have the king of pentacles um which is about st uh, stability and um abundance this person is a provider and then you have the seven of cups which is um about temptations and um options opportunities choices so i feel like um maybe both of you have some type of third party situation going on maybe both of you are heartbroken um on from a maybe you both have choices both of you are heartbroken about someone who is stable or stability or some type of stability so it it's weird to say but this heartache coming from both of you guys is probably what's keeping you kind of together that is what is um connecting you to um is that it's some type of heartache that's connecting you to maybe you both feel it maybe you felt it from a prior situation and not necessarily from each other or both of you are feeling heartache from each other um just take it as it resonates because maybe you're feeling heartache and your person is feeling heartache as well and even though you may think that they are not they definitely are what is the guidance from spirit in regards to this situation any guidance from spirit please Spirit is asking you to do some healing. So the guidance is the hermit card going within and doing some soul searching. The um, justice card because this is a this is a soul contract. So somebody definitely wants um, some justice and clarity in this uh, situation. And then we have the five of cups, which is about like old wounds, grief, loss, disappointment. So. The advice from spirit is that you need to go within and do some type of soul searching. You need to um, need need to do some healing um, to clear out some old wounds, some old feelings. You need to go ahead and do that because, yeah, this is a soul contract. So all of this is happening for a particular reason. Um, 
all of all of everything here is happening for a reason because you have a soul contract if this is a twin flame or a higher level of a soulmate commitment um this this is um happening in a way that it's supposed to happen because there is a soul contract here and there's some old wounds so you two probably are um, triggering each other in some way shape or form and where you're triggering each other um it's just whatever bubbles up from that trigger is saying that you need to go ahead and heal that um, in order to move forward. So spirit is saying that you need to go within and you need to um, follow your intuition and try to clear out these old wounds. And what is the outcome, please? Can I please have an outcome of this situation? So for this month, <laughs> for this month, you have um, the Ace of Swords, and I'll tell you why I'm laughing. We have the world, and your overall energy was the world, correct? Your overall energy was the world. So we have the world, and then we have the Five of Pentacles. So I think... Um, for you, Leo, is that some there's going to be from this soul searching, there is going to be some type of awareness that is going to come to light. Um, this this is all happening because it's time for a cycle to complete itself. And once that cycle completes itself, you can move forward and start a new cycle with this world card. That's what it's saying. The world card is saying that it's time for this cycle to to um, to pan out, to phase out. And so in order for the overall energy, I think um, the outcome for this month will be that you are going to spend some time alone. You're going to isolate yourself because we did get the hermit card. So we have this hermit card in the five of pentacles. So these these cards are about taking some time out and maybe potentially isolating yourself and going within and thinking about what potentially needs to happen and um, in order for you to move forward but there will be some type of breakthrough and awareness in your mind and your mental something is going to come to light some clarity so this time alone for the month of august is still going to bring you some clarity and whatever the clarity you need to go ahead and end this particular cycle um so you will need to go ahead and isolate yourself and then the overall energy the underlying energy is the um the block the overall blockage is the king of cups which is um like an emotional emotional control some um stability the uh you know somebody supportive tolerant so you're gonna get some emotional mastery at the end of all of this so whatever is gonna come to your awareness at the end of the day you're gonna get some emotional mastery but right now that under that's your underlying issue is that you are lacking the um, emotions that you need these strong emotions that you need to control you're not controlling your emotions at this time and that is an underlying issue and that is what's blocking this entire situation so leo this is what i have for you for the month of august i'm wishing you all well don't forget to like share and subscribe and i thank you for stopping by and you guys stay safe all right thanks